Okay, so we're going to be reviewing significant figures, but as opposed to just seeing them on a measuring device to determine the amount of significant figures, again, remember that last estimate was your uh, doubtful digit because there's always some level of uncertainty. We only had a certain amount of significant figures. Then we went over the rules when we see numbers just in your book. Now we're going to go over the rules of what do we do when we see significant figures and in calculations. So most of the calculations <clears throat> in our course in chemistry are multiplication and, and or division. Uh, the rules are the same for both of these operations. It's pretty straightforward. Basically, your final answer has to have the same amount of significant figures as the number with the least amount of significant figures. So if we look at 12.1 times 3.2, we get the number 38.72, okay? So this has this number actually has four sig figs, okay? Now, if we look at the numbers we begin with, it doesn't make sense if I have 12.1, which only has three sig figs, and 3.2, which only has two sig figs, that I should have more certainty and more confidence in this calculation where there is going to be round off error and things like that compounded that I would actually have a final answer with four sig figs. It makes no sense to have that. So how do we determine what is the amount of sig figs my final answer should have? It's pretty easy. I look at the two numbers, the 12.1 and the 3.2, and which one has the least amount of sig figs and 3.2 only has two sig figs. So my final answer should only have two sig figs. So my final answer should only go to the ones place. So I look to the right of the ones place, the tenths place, and I see it's a seven. That means I need to round up. So my final answer would be 39. And that would be my final answer in this calculation with the correct sig figs. Same thing with division, right? 12.1 has three sig figs. 3.2 has two sig figs. I plug this into a calculator. You know, I get all these sig figs. Am I going to write all those numbers? No. I'm going to pick, because this is multiplication and division rules, the least amount of sig figs, which was two sig figs, and I'm going to have two sig figs. I look one to the right of the second significant figure, it's bigger than a five, so I'm going to round up. So my final answer is going to be 3.8. 3.8 is my final answer. So moving on. Addition, subtraction, that's a little bit more uh, challenging. And when we do adding and subtracting, we don't pick the least amount of sig figs. We pick the least precise measurement. What I like to tell students when they say precision, they mean the least placement value. So if we look here, we have to the tenths, the hundredths, the thousands. Oh, this is only to the ones place. This is to the thousands. So which one is the least, right? placement value i look the ones is the least placement value so my final answer should be 1488 because that brings me to the ones place now a lot of people get confused and they go well 18 only has two sig figs this has four yes but we're following the rules of addition and subtraction and we don't look for the least number of sig figs we use least precision or placement value, which is the ones place. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, if you have any comments, go ahead and leave them in the comments area. And I want to thank you again for taking the time to watch the video.